Walmart was the target of another shoplifting attempt, this time at the Waterworks Mall. Police say a group of women tried to leave the store without paying. They were allegedly caught stuffing things like swimsuits and clothing into their purses. Lynn Hayes Freeland has more on that. The Walmart in Waterworks Mall is a destination point for shoppers looking for a wide array of products. According to a police criminal complaint, Deirdre and Desiree Chappelle came here on Sunday along with another adult, Donna, and three juveniles, but they weren't shopping. Police say they were shoplifting. I think it's awful. Police say the group entered the store and went to a variety of different departments, picking up merchandise and then putting it into a shopping bag, purse or backpack. According to the police, the items included a stroller, girls clothing, swim trunks, shirts and swimsuits. I think it's appalling. I used to work at Walmart. In fact, this Walmart and um, there were several instances where people shoplift and I understand that some people have a really rough time in this day and age, but you know, there is work out there. According to police, the entire family then left the building through the entrance into the vestibule area. They had still not paid for any of the concealed merchandise. That's when they were invited to go to the loss prevention office. Police say in all, the merchandise that had not been paid for added up to $282.14. Two of the kids were 14 years old. A third was only four. Police say Donna Chappelle initially said the toddler wasn't with them, then later admitted she was the child's mother. All of the adults are charged with retail theft, corruption of minors, and conspiracy. And Donna Chappelle faces an extra charge of endangering the welfare of children. The single mothers are out here working, mm -hmm. trying to make a living, and... No, I don't agree with my mothers going shoplifting with their children, no. It's just like giving them the wrong message and giving people that are looking and watching the wrong message. The women were released and told to expect to receive summonses in the mail. Lynn Hayes Freeland, KDKA, TV News. Now